Hello everyone, welcome back to our tutorial series where we're going to be talking about Spring Security with Angular. In this video, we're going to be building our configuration so we can actually just get started and not spend much time on it. Uh, let's create a new folder or a new package, call it config or configuration. And uh, let's create a new Java class and call it app config or whatever doesn't really matter and what we're going to do here is we're going to annotate it with that um, configuration annotation and also we're going to enable web security and this configuration uh, class actually um, will extend uh, the web security configuration adapter and uh, we are going to override a couple of methods. We're going to override this method here and we're going to override this method here. Uh, let's build it here. Let's remove this, let's remove that. And we're going to be injecting a couple of uh, things here. We're going to inject our current user service, we're going to inject our session filter, and we're going to inject the password encoder. So let's go private, final, um, uh, current user service. We're going to private, final, um, session filter, which we built in the uh, last video and private final password decoder which we still don't have a bean for but we will have don't worry about it and let's add these to the constructor and let's auto wire them and yeah we're all set so let's configure some stuff the first thing that we want to do is we want to configure our user detail service so if you go out um, user detail service and we're just passing the current user service and password encoder we pass in the password encoder basically what this does is tells the spring um, configuration so uh, web security configuration tells what's the current user service or where it's the user detail service and the user detail service is used to load users as we've seen and we have that implementation here we've seen that in the previous videos now let's um, quickly add a bean for our uh, password encoder. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to go at bean and we're going to go, oops, public. Encrypt. Whoops, it's called the bcrypt password encoder password encoder and we're going to return a new big crypt password encoder and that's it that's all we need to do here and now we're going to do the http configuration so what we're going to do here is http equals bin dot class and then and we're going to disable the CSR off. CSRF. Disable. Then we're going to add some um, exception handling. So if you're accessing some of the endpoints, we want to make them unauthorized. So, um, so if they're unauthorized, we want to give an um, uh, um, custom exception that's what I want to meant and we're going to do um, application entry point and in this entry point you have request response and um, exception and what you can do here is request um, oh, response send error and in the error you can see him TP servlet response um, st unauthorized and uh, you can also let's get message so you can also add a message and it's complaining about something uh, let me see what 
we need here dot and and that's it so basically what we are saying here if there is some exception um yeah let's send an error so that we know this is unauthorized if you would not do this you would get still an error message but it would just be a bit strange and you wouldn't know if you're actually authorized or not okay then uh let's uh, take the http again and um authorize some requests basically what we want to say is um and matches we're going to say if it's um api slash uh login uh we are going to permit it so this is one of the public um, endpoints which is permitted without any authorizations and any any request um needs to be authenticated basically this means that anything else except the login one uh, needs to be authenticated and uh, the login one you can access or anybody can access it which makes sense okay and the last thing that's uh, left to be done here for this configuration is to add our filter so we're going to add um, filter uh, before so the filter that we're adding is our uh, session filter and we're going to add it before username and password authentication filter authentication filter class yep so this is it so we're going to add this filter before this one which means that every request that we make is going to go through this filter and we're going to do all of the stuff that we implemented there and that's actually it for the configuration here. Um, the, the last thing that we need to do inside of this uh, config class and we are going to need to expose our authentication manager. So if we go at, um, uh, we're going to override um, authentication manager bean. So we're going to do this one and we're just going to go at bean. Yeah. Uh, boom. That's it nothing actually left here what we're going to do now is we're going to create a login so if you go package rest and we're going to create um, java class our let's call it controller yes and at rest controller at rest mapping slash api and we are going to have um, post mapping slash login public entity uh, let's for now just put it object login at post mapping slash actually we, let's implement logout a bit later now uh, let's do login first so what with the login um we are going to take in uh something first so let me just create it here uh let's create a new package called dto and inside of the DTO package, we're going to create two DTOs. Um, user DTO, which the user DTO is simple. It has private string username and private string. So the, the user DTO is, we're going to generate a get this in sentence. The user DTO will be used from the front end to send it here. And we are going to also have a response DTO. And the response DTO is just going to create uh, contain um, a session ID. Yeah, um, sorry, I can't talk and type. <laughs> and we're going to generate getters and setters for the session ID. And then we go back to the controller. And here the type is response, response DTO. And here the request body is user dto let's name it user yeah 
whatever. Okay, so um, we're going to build our uh, login. We need our authentication manager. So we're going to auto wire it. Uh, yeah, so we have the manager here. And what we're going to do is um, manager authenticate new username password authentication token and to this we pass in user get uh, username and user get password um, let's make this a bit pretty so if this works um, we'll get below it otherwise it throws an exception and you don't get authenticated so you don't log in and um, we're going to uh, also auto wire public um, what we didn't call this session registry session registry so we're going to use the session registry to um, with this is not our session registry this is something else ah, ours is called in memory session registry uh, let's implement that one and session registry um, register session for user get username and we get session ID final and then just return response entity dot okay and we're going to pass in um, we're going to pass in some body which will be uh, we can build it here new response DTO let's name it response and to response we're going to set the session ID that we just registered and let's return our response that's our login let's create another controller um, let's name it um, whatever uh, list list controller and let's copy this part here let's add it here and then at get mapping uh, slash list public list string get list just get list items. So this is um, this controller that we are just building is um, just going to be used as a demonstration, so that we can see that uh, some endpoints are authenticated and um, some are not. So we're going to return a list of some items here. Blah blah. Basically, if we start our application, we should be able to see it in action. So what we did now is we have built our uh, controller, we have built our configuration, everything should work. Um, so if we uh, start it and we try to access it, um, oops, we get an error. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, there seems to be an issue with how we inject our uh, stuff inside of the app config. So basically if you use the constructor injection, it doesn't work. So we have to inject it as a field and this is what I changed instead of a constructor, we inject it like this and now everything works. So let me use our postman and we're going to try to log in. First we have, um, whoops, username, user1, password, user1. Um, let me change this because this doesn't exist, send it. And it says, okay, I, you're unauthorized, you don't exist. But if I use, hmm, first, API list. Um, here you see I have authorization with some variable which does not exist. If I send it, it says I'm unauthorized because I'm not logged in. Let's log in with the user one, send this, and we get a session ID. So I can copy this session ID. I can uh, put it here. So I have a header, authorization. I send it, and now I get my list. I'm authorized. And that's it, boys. We build it. So we have enabled the Spring Security for our application, and we are using it correctly. And um, as you can see, it works. So the next step is to actually implement some front end and use this. But that's a thing for uh, next video. So thank you for following this. Hopefully you're enjoying it. And if you have some questions, uh, do let me know. And I will see you in the next one.